Jerry, you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. Uh, guys, what, uh, what led to that defensive performance? What was the key to holding them to 34% shooting? It's a pretty good team. Yeah, what was the key to that defensive performance? You held a good team to 34% shooting. Um, just getting back to who we are. Um, you know, this whole season, our identity, our identity has been laid in the defensive end. So just getting back to who we are as a team and uh, staying focused and locked in. Uh, I think we did a good job of preparation, getting ready for um, this, this game and understanding who they were as a team and what they were trying to do. Um, I think we just did a good job of locking in on that end. Uh, Spencer, you're there. Yeah. Go, Spencer. Go. You started 15 boards in a town of one the offensive end. So, I mean, what was the mindset going into this one? Uh, you were really clean the glass. I mean, still had a layup. So, I decided to grab the ball back. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> Dre. Well, let's get, take a second crack at this rebound question. What did you think of Kadari? Grabbing 15 rebounds. What did that tell you? Oh, um, <laughs> nah, uh, I think he just put it, uh, you know, just showing his second efforts. Like he said, um, you know, a lot of guys, they miss a layup, but it's, it's going to shine out. You know, he just um, provided his second effort to go after the ball. Give us another opportunity, um, you know, to score. And, you know, it can't help huge, especially kind of struggling on the boards a little bit. So, you know, it was a like great help. Guys, how big was the crowd today, especially with this early tip-off, uh, you know, getting everybody flowing, and they, they really, you know, led you on some of those those runs that you went on in the, in the first half in particular, but also the second half? Um, I thought it was huge. You know, it was, I can only speak for myself, but it, it gave, provided me with a lot of energy. Um, I thought the atmosphere was great. Um, you, could, you could feel the energy a lot. It's, I feel like it's a lot of energy from the pool. Uh, you could definitely put it right on top of us. So, uh, no, I thought it was great. I really appreciate the guys. Either, either one of you two, uh, again, on the crowd. Uh, pick, up, pick up on uh, what Dre just said. Yeah, whenever I see a big crowd like that, just, just energy just pours down on me. And then I just do this. <laughs> stop, stop. Stop, stop. Nah, bro. Stop. 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 Jackson? Jackson. Uh, Zay, this was probably one of your more like, efficient games when it comes to shooting. Uh, what was the difference in this one that allowed you to be so efficient? Uh, I, I think I had a good warm up. That was it. I had a good warm up. Felt good after the warm up. That was it. Sure. Kadari, uh, we didn't get a chance to ask you this the last in the last game, but what has this week been like for you? The roller coaster of not getting to the NCAs and then the way you guys responded with two wins here. What's this been like for you as a senior and a guy who's been in this program the longest? Um, just having an opportunity to play in the postseason and doing what we have to do to keep surviving and advancing. Michael? Isaiah, talk about your progress from the summer to now as a freshman. How do you feel more comfortable like, in just being in the Division One level? I say I'm definitely, definitely more comfortable than when I was when I first got here. Still learning a lot, but definitely more comfortable. Right. Isaiah, uh, 14 points and a clutch uh, three-pointer uh, before halftime. That really uh, kept the, the crowd going. Would you say you guys feed off the crowd or the crowd feed, uh, feeds off you guys? And how does that help you going forward in this tournament? I say I say we feed off the crowd. Um, whenever they're in it, we're in it. Um, Excuse me. Um, yeah, whenever, whenever the crowd is in, we in it. Dre, what's it like for you to see uh, Isaiah have a breakout game in a big spot like this? Um, you know, this is, this is what I expect from him. You know, he's been, a, he's been working his tail off all year, so um, I expect nothing less, you know. Um, you know, even you know, starting in the summer when he first got here, you know, you could tell he's going to be something special. Um, you know, he keeps continuing to grow and continue to develop. This is. I like uh, both Dre and Kidari to answer this. Uh, this will be Seton Hall's first appearance in the NIT quarterfinals since 1953. Uh, Richie Regan was the point guard. Uh, what, what would this mean to you to win the title, to hang that banner for this program? One game at a time, Dre. One game at a time, step by step. Well, let me let me rephrase the question. Then. Thank you, sir. What, what does it mean to you to be making that kind of history since it's been 70 years since Seton Hall's gotten this far in this tournament? Go ahead. Let's go on, Mitchell. 
just winning, um, just knowing that this could be the last game of your college career, so just taking that in and just going out there and performing. So. Okay, do you mind answering that too? Uh, what it means to be making just, history? Just taking the game at a time, you know. Uh, not really trying to you know, look at it from that perspective, you know, trying to put no pressure on ourselves, but just trying to, you know, it, it, it's a blessing to be able to play the postseason, so just being grateful for this opportunity, uh, taking one game at a time. Yeah, guys, at the end of the game, it was a standing ovation. You guys took a lap around the outside of Walsh, waving at the fans. What was that moment like for you guys? Dre, you had your daughter on your shoulders, I think, right? Uh, yeah, my son. Oh, was it? Okay. I'll just my son. I was glued to my screen. I'm sorry about that. But go ahead. In general, regardless of my miscue. Turnover. We have a bunch of turnovers. Ask answer so y'all can tell. No problem. For me, it's special. Um, uh, you know, we really appreciate the crowd. We just want to show our love and appreciation for them as they continue to support us through this postseason like they have all season. So that's that's what it was. Kadari, would you mind just answering that? What was it like taking that walk around the end at the end? Um, they've been here through the good and the bad, so we just appreciate them showing up nonstop. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you, guys.